go with the screen for Connor Reddington, and he's in to give Stanford the lead. One thing that I got taught when I was younger is that people don't remember you by the things you accomplish, the how many touchdowns you scored, the, your GPA. What people remember you by is the way you made them, made them feel. And that is something I got taught while I was in high school and that I carry on to this day. And that's why I will try every day to make people feel positively and try to just have positive interactions with other people because I really believe that relationships um, are very, very, very important. And that is why I try to do the things that I do. Connor Waddington has been selected as a member of the American Football Coaches Association and Allstate uh, Insurance Good Works team. Obviously we know about uh, the work that he's done with the homeless in, in uh, the Tenderloin District of, of San Francisco. We got a bunch of sweats, shirts, long shirts, tights, socks, a bunch of stuff to go give out, so we're excited about it. The homeless community um, is something that I'm passionate about is specifically because um, I've had family, I've known friends who had family, and I've known you know, a good amount of people who got addicted to drugs and who were on the streets. And that's something that and when I'm in SF, I can see them. I can see them when I'm having these conversations with these people. And that's the reason why, you know, I'm passionate about giving back to the homeless people because I know these people are just people, you know what I mean? So many people have a negative like connotation with like the homeless and it might be the way media portrays them or however, but they, at the end of the day, they are just people. So I wanted to get uh, Stanford community, Stanford teammates um, involved in this. One, specifically because I think it's important for other people to have these experiences. It shows them a different life. And definitely, you know, at Stanford, um, we're blessed to be here. And we get caught up in this bubble at Stanford because, I mean, Stanford is a great place. It's so big. Um, you have all the resources you need. Um, but at the same time, there's life happening outside of Stanford. So it's good to go out into the city, um, get out of the Stanford bubble, and to go and see reality. Yeah. 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 All right, let's get you a shirt. Yeah, absolutely. We got we got white shirts. I think we got black shirts, red shirts. You grow up living your own life, and you see things from your perspective. Um, when you re go and reach out and connect with other people and start to learn about their life and start to see things from the way they see things, um, it changes. Is it changes the way you think? These people want to communicate, want to talk, and. Sometimes I'd be in a conversation for like 45 minutes, sometimes it'd be 15, sometimes it'd be 30 seconds. Um, it changes from person to person, but at the end of the day, something that I noticed is that these people wanted to communicate. And I feel like that's just because they don't get the chance a lot of times to communicate with other people other than the homeless community. I would definitely say one thing that I've learned is that you can learn from anybody. Every single person on this planet has lived a life and had experiences that other people haven't had. And something that I've noticed while I've been out in the, in the city giving back and having these conversations is that you can literally learn something from any person on the planet. Everybody has something to give. Inspire people just to go out and do positive things in the world. It doesn't have to be directed to the homeless population, but just in your own way, go out and give back. You know, every, everybody has something to give.